Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka. Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Rally Ruffin from YouTube, and I'm going to be doing another DVD review tonight of a horror classic, classic, you know, a thriller, slash drama, slash thriller, slash drama, slash horror. It's Joyride, and I only have this on this DVD of Joyride. This case movie anyway, Joyride from 20th Century Fox. Yeah, it is a cool slash drama slash thriller slash horror from 2001. It stars Steve Zahn, or Steve Zane, you know him in a lot of movies. The late Paul Walker, and uh, that actress, uh, well, Ted Levine as Bessie Nail. But the actress, Lily Sebesky, Lily Sebesky, I can't pronounce her name, I'm sorry, but that, she plays Venna. Anyway, it's about Paul Walker's character, Lewis. And he's in college. He's talking to Vanna because she likes he he likes her, and they talk back to her. Or at the beginning of the movie, they talk on the phone. But Lewis, he rents a car, or he buys a classic '70s car, and he has to bail his brother out. You know, uh, Fuller played by Steve Zahn because he's a troublemaker. And you know, Fuller, he just talks about crap about him and his relationship. But uh, later on in the movie, uh. Fuller buys a, C a CBR radio at home. A CB radio. So they could, they could talk, play practical jokes on truckers, like the early internet. Internet board phase. But um, at one point in the movie, you know, they talk to this weird guy that like a rocking chair. Anybody know Candy Cane? You know that trucker who goes by Rusty Nail. So Fuller and Lewis, well mostly Fuller, play a practical joke on him, right? Pretending he's a trucker, you know, about to screw this girl named Candy Kane, and then Paul Walker character Lewis does the voice of Candy King, so they play the mean trick on on him, but the, they lose his signal. And later on, they check his motel, and you know, Lewis, yeah, he hears well, anybody out there know Candy Cane by Bubble Black Sheep, you know, his creepy voice. Ted, the voice of Ted Levine, you know, you know, he was in Buffalo Bill in Silence of the Land. That's a classic horror movie. Too bad I don't own it. I might review it anyway, one day. So, anyway, while Fuller was checking him and his brother in, they, this Ronald Allen House guy, this real asshole who pushes Fuller's side pisses him off, and, you know, Fuller can't take that, no, no. So, while uh, Fuller and Lewis here, you know, Rusty Nail again, they decided to do a pre play another practical joke on one way on how to get a real butthole. And Rusty Nail, you know, he believes them, and later on, you know, you find out Rusty Nail is a psychopathic trucker. He kills and rips out uh, Ronald Allen has to jaw over that bad joke they did but and that's where the movie really gets interesting they have later on in the movie later on when, when you know Rusty Nail was following them and he stopped following them for a while so Lewis and Fuller could pick up Vanna and they both have the hots for her but it's obviously obviously she likes Lewis better than Paul Walker's character Vanna and while they were in the motel room uh Lewis was asleep, you know, I thought you didn't say there was no girl. Let's, you know, sock them again. And, uh, later on, you know, when they kill Vanna, what, what happened? I don't know if they really tell her what happened. I can't remember. But she knows. They, they tell her about the practical joke, but not the whole story. But, you know, Rusty Nail orders, orders them. But he kidnaps, he, he kidnaps their, uh, Rusty Nail kidnaps Charlotte, uh, Venna's college roommate, roommate all right. and so he won't kill her unless they do what they what he says. So at one point he makes Lewis and Fuller walk to the diner naked, order a hundred cheese hundred cheeseburgers, and and you know uh, they see what's you know, they catch up and he kidnaps Venna. That's that's most of the movie, and they follow him. Rusty Nail and, and Vanna to a different motel room. But that's the movie Joyride. It is a classic movie. 
this is the only DVD I have of Joyride. Or they made two sequels, which I thought were actually all right. I don't know. I, I know people really don't like Super that much, but Joyride Two was cool. It all had different characters, not just the acting, but different characters. But no, the characters of Frodo, Vanna, I mean Frodo, Vanna, and Lewis did not appear in the rest of the Joyride movies. But in Joyride Three, rest you know, it's time to introduce the crack couple. He said, I know I can eat candy once, but that was it. Uh, Joyride 3 was about that race car team or racing team. And it had that guy talking about that waitress looks like Large March. I always remember that. That was just, I mean, the original one is the best. But 2 and 3 were okay. Especially 2. 2 was, two, two, two was alright. 3 was like, you know, it, it was alright, but, but this one, Joyride. If you can see it right here, Joyride. This is the better version. You know what? What can you say? Um, Paul Walker, may he rest in peace, was good, was very good in this. In the Fast and the Furious, Furious. I know people don't call me crazy, but I haven't seen the Fast and the Furious films yet. Maybe I'll watch them. I don't know. But Steve Zahn really does a better job as that. Pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. Was it, you know, he was the oldest brother, right? Because his younger brother was taller than him, yeah. You know, the troublemaker of the family, the black sheep, whatever you want to call it. Maybe that's why they, he goes like black sheep in that C, CB radio. You know, he goes like, I'm black sheep. I'm the troublemaker of the family. Maybe that's where he got that name and his codename from. But anyway, please check out Joyride. It is a good horror movie from 2001. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. Please, please, please. And check out Joyride. Joyride from 2001. Please subscribe to my channel. That's it. Have a good one.